So the reason I am making this video mainly by seeing the stupid rumors regarding the novel coronavirus regarding its stability and especially in the Facebook I have seen that people are stating that WHO said that it is an airborne disease. No, it is absolutely not. You check the complete WHO site, they never mention that it is airborne as of today. What is going to happen in future? We don't know. But as of today, no, it is not airborne. At the same time, many people are claiming themselves that this virus is stable on this surface for so and so time and on particular surface so and so time without any proper scientific evidence nor the data. So in this video, I am going to explain about what is the stability of the coronavirus on different surfaces. So remember that the SARS-CoV-2, which means Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, which is responsible for the development of the disease called as COVID-19, stability is similar to that of the original SARS virus, which we will call it as SARS-CoV-1. So let us discuss in detail about the novel coronavirus that is SARS-CoV-2 stability. So as you can see the image over here, the scanning of the electron microscope image, which where you can see very clearly, which shows, which is called as SARS-CoV-2, which is responsible for the development of uh, COVID-19, which is isolated from the patient in the US. So emerging from the surfaces of the cells that is blue, pink, cultured in the lab, right? So this is what is the image, what you can see about uh, the cultured SARS-CoV-2. And the virus that causes coronavirus disease 2019, that is COVID-19, is stable for several hours to days in aerosols and on surfaces. According to the evidence-based study, new study from the National Institute of Health, Center for Disease Control called as CDC, UCLA, and Princeton University scientists in the New England Journal of Medicine. So these are the ones who gave us the data, what I'm going to explain you in this video. And the scientists found that the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 was detectable in aerosols up to three hours to four hours. And up to four hours on the copper surfaces. And they are stable up to 24 hours on the cardboard and they are stable up to two to three days on the plastic and stainless steel. Remember, they are stable up to two to three days on the stainless steel as well as on the plastic. That is the reason. So it is not like just cleaning once the coronavirus is completely gone. You cannot say that. It depends on the surfaces. So whenever you receive any parcel that is cardboard or a parcel by means of plastic, it is very important that you have to disinfect that as early as possible you receive and you have to wash your hands with alcohol based sanitizer which should have minimum of 60% of alcohol or soap and water. And the results from these scientists provide key information about the stability of the SARS-CoV-2 which causes COVID-19 disease and suggests that the people may acquire the virus by touching contaminated objects from all these sources. This is what you need to know about the stability of the SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-1 is a human coronavirus most closely related to SARS-CoV-2. In the stability study, the two viruses behaved similarly which unfortunately failed to explain why COVID-19 has become a much larger outbreak. And the National Institute of Health study attempted to mimic the virus being deposited from an infected person into everyday surfaces in a household or hospital setting, such as through coughing and touching objects. And the scientists then investigated how long the virus remained infectious on these surfaces. And that is the data which I already explained to you. And the scientists highlighted additional observation from their studies whenever they are identifying about the stability of these viruses. If the viability of the two coronaviruses is similar, especially why is SARS-CoV-2 resulting in more cases? 
But from the latest data, emerging evidence suggests that the people infected with the SARS-CoV-2 might be spreading virus without recognizing or prior to recognizing symptoms. So this would make those disease control measures that were effective against SARS-CoV-1 less effective against its successor. In contrast to SARS-CoV-1, most secondary cases of virus transmission of SARS-CoV-2 appear to be occurring in community settings rather than the healthcare settings. But however, healthcare settings are also vulnerable to the introduction and the spread of the SARS-CoV-2 and the stability of the SARS-CoV-2 in aerosols and on surfaces likely contributes to the transmission of the virus in the healthcare settings. And the findings affirm the guidance from the public health professionals to use the precautions similar for those of influenza as well as for the other respiratory viruses to prevent the spread of SARS-CoV-2. What are those guidelines? So everyone are telling these days on the TV, what you are seeing from the government officials also. Avoid close contact with the people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. And cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue in the trash. And clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces using a regular household cleaning spray or wipe. This is how you can prevent the transmission of the COVID-19.